Hi guys, this is Ganus Daily, and with the current situation regarding Mikel Arteta, I simply decided to start a conversation about who is going to be Arsenal's next manager. So settle in and let's go. First things first, for some of you who haven't already seen it, I made a detailed video about Mikel Arteta and why do I think he simply isn't the guy to take Arsenal forward anymore. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description, so feel free to check it out. But now, let's get back to the topic. Who should be the next Arsenal manager? It's soon going to be three years since Arsene Wenger left the club. Three fucking years. Wow. Anyway, Una Yemery was a disaster. Good evening. Mikel Arteta is... I don't even know what to say about him anymore. In short, things definitely didn't go the way we thought they would. So once again, in our third season since Arsene Wenger left, for the third time, we are looking for a new manager to replace him. Truly shocking. You know what's funny? We always left Chelsea because of how many managers they changed under Roman Abramovich, even though they won trophies on a regular basis. And we are now even worse than them. At this rate, we should simply start offering our managers six months contracts at max, so they can just shake up the squad, help us stay in the Premier League and simply move on to the next one. But anyway, all jokes aside, Massimiliano Allegri is currently the biggest favorite to take over from Mikel Arteta. So today, I'm going to get deeper into that and discuss about the pros, the cons, and if it really comes to that, Allegri taking over the Arsenal, what exactly can we expect from him? So without any further ado, let's start. Massimiliano Allegri. There's been so much talk about Massimiliano Allegri coming to England and taking over all the way back since Arsene Wenger left the club. But in reality, I don't remember seeing any concrete evidence or article about him actually wanting to come to the Emirates, except for that one time when he allegedly took English lessons because, you know, Arsenal is the only club in England that communicates in English. <laughs> for fuck's sake. But never mind. He managed seven clubs so far in his managerial career, unsurprisingly all from Italy. And in general, he was more than successful with most of them. I mean, let's take a look at all the trophies he's won so far in his managerial career. Serie A and Supercoppa Italia with Milan back in 2010-2011 season. And by the way, that is still the last Scudetto Milan he's won to date. He's won Serie A five times during his time with Juventus. Coppa Italia four times. His Super Cup two times. It's also worth mentioning that he brought Juventus to the Champions League final on two occasions. But, unfortunately for him, they lost both times. He was also a winner of multiple individual manager awards throughout the years. So in short, if he's available and interested in taking the job, common sense tells you to try and bring him to the Emirates immediately. Give him whatever he wants, pay him as much as he wants, and let's just end with all this bullshit, right? But here's the thing about Allegri that personally bothers me the most. As someone who watches a lot of Serie A football alongside the Premier League, I remember the way Juventus played during his time in Turin. And yes, he won 11 trophies with them alongside being in the Champions League final twice. But he's a strict, I guess you could say, old-fashioned manager who mostly relies on his defenders and always focusing more on that part of the pitch rather than playing quick, attacking and attractive football. Biggest percentage of his wins with Juventus ended with 1-0. And that's okay, like I said numerous times, if the results are good, who cares how we play, right? But knowing Arsenal fans, the biggest objection towards Arteta was always his extremely defensive approach to games and genuinely converting us to by far the most boring team to watch in the Premier League. Shots taken, key passes, expected goals, we are always at the bottom of the table in most of those stats. So for some of the Arsenal fans who haven't really watched Juventus or Allegri's teams throughout the years, if he becomes our manager, I definitely wouldn't get too hyped about us playing quick, offensive and wonderful football. But let's forget about his style of playing, whether it's nice to watch or whatnot. And let's take a look at some of the statistical records he broke during his time with Juventus. Massimiliano Allegri has recorded the highest winning percentage amongst the Juventus managers in the history of Serie A. 75.5%. Or, better said, 142 wins in 188 games. Truly remarkable. And you don't have to tell me, I know it myself. Quality-wise, Serie A is in a downfall for quite some time. And competition is worse than it's ever been. But still, these are some truly remarkable stats and records to achieve for anyone in any league in Europe, let alone Serie A. During his 5 year stay with Juventus, he averaged, and I shit you not, 2.41 points per game in Serie A. Highest points per match average in the history of the club, <laughs> for fuck's sake. You see what I'm talking about? You can love him or hate him, you can prefer his playstyle or not, you can say that the league is weaker than ever before because, let's be honest, it is, but you simply can't take away these numbers from him, because the numbers don't lie. Minus the Champions League, which he failed to win on two occasions when he got to the final, he is statistically the best manager in Juventus history. If you take a look at all the Juventus managers in the past, 
Massimiliano Allegri is statistically the best out of them. But now, let's stop for a second and clear out some obvious things that we must mention. First things first, Juventus already won three titles in a row before he came to the club and replaced Antonio Conte. After he left the club in 2019, Juventus once again won the title the following season with Maurizio Sarri in charge. So, you see what I'm talking about? Juventus is arguably the most stable club in Europe regarding their scouting network, signing players without the club at the end of their contract, signing players for a cheap, marketing, finances, organization, everything. They are simply always one step ahead of their competition in the league every single year. From top to bottom, they are truly a well old machine and it is not coincidence that they are the most dominant force in Italian football for these last 10 years or so. Of course, statistically, their best period in the last 10 years was during the Allegri time with the club. So he absolutely deserves the praise for everything he's done for them. And that is the main problem with him coming to Arsenal if you ask me. Because Arsenal is currently everything country from a well-worn football club like Juventus. Not organized in any way from top to bottom, bad chemistry, players fighting each other, too many players that you can't even offload because of their overpaid contracts, insufficient investments, owner doesn't give a fuck about the club, horrible football, no Champions League, no project for the future, nothing. There's not one thing that I could currently point out and say, yes, we are the same or even better than Juventus in that certain territory. The only thing that comes to my mind is the hell end, or better said, the young core of the upcoming players from the academy. Because there are some truly wonderful players for the future at our disposal on which you could actually build something. But other than that, I don't even feel good comparing Juventus and Arsenal currently or talking about it. We are just so, so far behind the top clubs in Europe at the moment that it's shocking, for fuck's sake. And Massimiliano Allegri is a manager that's never been in a situation like this, not even close. So why would he even come here at this moment, when he can just take some other top job in some other top club in Europe without dealing with all this shit we are dealing with currently? It's just hard for me to imagine that. Not just regarding him, but every other top manager in Europe, whether he's available at the moment or not. Because it is a war zone currently in North London, and dance and shit. Whoever comes here must be prepared to roll up their sleeves and start doing some serious, serious work to get us even remotely back to where the club like Arsenal realistically deserves to be. Judging by the number of states and trophies won, yes, Massimiliano Allegri is by far the best available option in the market at the moment. No doubt. But don't expect attractive football and don't expect some big improvements overnight. Plus, like I said, he's never been anywhere close to a situation like this. He is a top, top quality manager, and in my opinion, if we truly decide to go for a top name in the European football to be our next coach, Massimiliano Allegri is right up on top of that list with the best of them. Thank you for watching, guys. Tell me in the comments, what are your thoughts? Would you be happy with Massimiliano Allegri becoming our next permanent manager? If not, which other manager would you suggest? Write down in the comments. I'm really interested to hear you out. Once again, thank you all for watching. If you like my content, feel free to click on the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. I'm trying to hit that 1k mark and I really appreciate all of you who are here with me through this journey. So thank you and see you on the next one. Peace.